Strapping on heart monitors, this group of students is preparing for a rigorous exercise session. But these two volunteers would rather sit this one out. Why? Well, they smoke. They haven't lit up in more than a half day, and they're craving a cigarette. But researchers say they've discovered that cravings, like nicotine, can be controlled through exercise. When you really want something or you have an urge for a cigarette, parts of the brain light up in anticipation of a reward. So you've come to associate wanting a cigarette with a reward and parts of the brain those are lighting up. So we're particularly interested in whether exercise changes that lighting up of those areas of the brain that are typically associated with reward and reinforcement. After being put through their paces, the students are scanned by an MRI machine and shown a series of images, including cigarettes. The study found that smokers who had not exercised exhibited heightened brain activity in response to the images. The brains of smokers who had exercised did not exhibit the same stimulation. Effects seem to last a lot longer than just while you're doing the exercise. So it may be a couple of explanations. One, that there's this shift after exercise into this default mode where we're no longer thinking about things. But also it could be that there's an increase in a dopamine response. There are different neurochemicals that happen with exercise, which might also play a part in changing this urge or wanting state. For the test subjects, the results of the experiment were mixed. While I was on the bike, that craving had, well, not completely gone, but most of it had gone. And I feel a lot better now. I don't feel like I need to go out and have a cigarette. While you're doing it, I don't think you want to smoke. But maybe after, yeah, I would like to go smoke a cigarette still. Smoke probably a pack and a half a day. Researchers say proving that there is a direct correlation between craving and exercise is an important step in persuading smokers to kick their addiction and get active. John Belmont, The Associated Press.